Hello, greetings from Chapel Hill. It's the first day of Manchester City's pre-season tour today in uh, North Carolina. And finally, the new season is underway. It feels a long time since that FA Cup final and that Premier League trophy for the fourth title in a row. And uh, a lot has changed, but not a lot has changed as well. There's uh, a handful of first team players, not many new signings. And we spoke to Pep Guardiola yesterday for the first time this summer. He confirmed the good news, the headline news for City is Kevin is not leaving. That was the word that uh, Guardiola said in Spanish. So we had to uh, call upon our rudimentary uh, language skills and think, did he, did he say that? And then get it translated. But he did say to a question asked about Kevin De Bruyne and uh, the law of Saudi Arabia, he said, Kevin is not going. Um, he didn't say that other players wouldn't leave. He said that you know some players may come to City in the next few weeks and say they want to go, in which case City will have that conversation. They'll talk to those players and they will deal with it um, and potentially get new signings and they have the uh, scope to do that but he also said there's probably not going to be many other additions on top of Savinho who he called uh, I think devastating in uh, one-on-one -on -one situations and can play on the right the left in the middle and is a different option uh, to, to the current wing options that City have he, he talked up Savinho's ability to play on both sides he says only really Jeremy Doku can do that and all the other players City have uh, are sort of tied to one wing rather than the other so that could hint at the plans for Savinio we, uh, it was quite a, an interesting uh, press conference from, from Guardiola he, uh, he started by saying he needed the rest he was, uh, he was quite happy to have had his rest over the summer and now he's all back and refreshed and ready to attack the season uh, the question in, in, in that instance was about do you want the England job uh, which has obviously been uh, been reported and and suggested that he may take the uh, the vacant England job after the Euros. On the Euros, by the way, he said Spain deserved to win, but England's achievements of reaching consecutive finals shouldn't be uh, downplayed. But no, he said uh, in relation to his his future, it wasn't a definitive. I'm going to stay. I'm not going to stay. It wasn't that kind of question. But he did say he's happy here. He's ready for the season. He's excited for the season. Uh, so that is something that City fans might be able to cling on to. But I just don't think we're going to get any answer when it comes to De uh, to Guardiola's future. One of the more interesting aspects of uh, of Guardiola's press conference was that he unprompted said he was very excited to see James McAtee this uh, this season and that he wants him to stay. He said he's matured a lot at Sheffield United. He's a player that gives them something else in those pockets, in those small spaces. So uh, McAtee could be one to watch this summer to see can he back it up. And on Jack Grealish, who's obviously had a disappointing, uh, disappointing summer, he said it's over to Jack. Jack has the quality. He he has the ability to force his way into the side. He's got to do that now. The bar I'm standing outside actually is called He's Not Here and there was a, a quite a quite well attended event for City fans there the other day. Uh, Jolene Lescott and Sean Wright Phillips were there as well. It's called He's Not Here because Michael Jordan went to the University of North Carolina which is all around this town. This is a, a college town and people would call up He's Not Here to say where's Michael Jordan and they would say he's not here um, but yeah the, the college town the, the university dominates this small town it's quite sleepy at the moment I'm, I think there's a lot of City fans and, and Celtic fans have arrived um, but when the when the term time is here there's 30,000 students they're not here so it's up to City fans and Celtic fans there's a 50,000 seat stadium about half a mile over my shoulder and that is where City will open their pre-season today this town is sky blue the colours of the University of North Carolina is sky blue the I've just walked past a, um, a fire truck that is sky blue so City fit in there was a, a question asked to Oscar Bob which shade of sky blue do you prefer and he said it's City but I, I genuinely can't tell the difference but I think Celtic fans will try and make some noise they'll try and make it green and white there's uh, this town is excited for for City there's a pop-up City shop just over there with the you know it looks like the dressing room there's a Premier League trophy it is ready it's a, it's a small town when they get to New York and Orlando it will be a completely different feel but North Carolina has been good to City there was thousands of fans at the training yesterday a lot of excitement they were singing happy birthday to Erling Haaland this town is ready for, for a game and I think everyone is ready to see what City are going to look like. It's not a full City squad because as Guardiola said, 85% of the players are all from the academy, but City are going to be playing. Jack Grealish, Erling Haaland and co are going to be playing uh, and you can follow it all on the Manchester Evening, evening News throughout the uh, early hours of the morning in the UK. But all the reaction you will get from uh, Chapel Hill uh, and back in Manchester and then on to New York.